Hello everyone. Welcome to Circuit Globe. I am Roshni and in this session we will be discussing about what is a diode. So friends, let's get started. A diode is a two terminal semiconductor device that allows flow of current in one direction only. It is basically formed by the combination of P and N type semiconductor material thus also called as a P and junction diode. Now let's have a look how a P and junction diode is formed. An N type semiconductor material is fused with a P type semiconductor material each having majority carriers as electron and holes respectively. Due to thermal excitation, the electrons from N side combines with the holes from the P side and accumulates at the junction as we can see here. Accumulation of charge carrier across the depletion region. This region acts as potential barrier. This barrier potential does not allow any further movement of the carriers towards other side of the junction. This is basically a zero biased condition of a diode where no any external potential is provided but still carrier drift across the junction for a certain period of time. So friends, after discussing the zero biased condition of a diode, let's move further and have a look how a diode conducts when it is in forward biased condition. The figure here shows that the positive potential of the battery is connected to P side and the negative potential of the battery is connected to N side thus making it a forward biased diode. However, we are already aware of the fact that at zero biased condition a potential barrier is generated in that across the depletion region of the diode which we can see here with the green portion. So, this potential barrier is needed to be exceeded so as to have a proper flow of current to take place or we can say that it is required to exceed this barrier potential in order to have a flow of current through a device. But it is to be noted here that the barrier potential is 0.3 volts for germanium and 0.7 volts for silicon. Now see how this happens. In the forward biased condition, the positive potential of the battery applies repulsive force to the holes present in the P side. Similarly, the electrons in the N side experiences a repulsive force by the action of negative potential of the battery. This repulsive force provides sufficient energy to the electron and holes to drift across the junction. As only this movement of majority carriers across the junction is responsible for the flow of electric current through the device. As we have also mentioned here that when the applied forward potential exceeds the barrier potential then this allows the depletion region to get diminished and the flow of current through the device to take place. Moving further let us now consider reverse biased condition of a diode where we connect negative potential of the battery to the P side and positive potential of the battery to the N side. In reverse bias condition flow of current is almost negligible. However, a small saturation current flows through the diode that is also known as reverse saturation current. Let's see how this happens. The majority carrier present in P type of material gets attracted towards the negative potential of the battery. Similarly, the electrons in the N side gets attracted towards the positive potential of the battery. This causes the depletion region to increase considerably resultantly that causes the potential barrier of the device to increase. In such a condition, no majority current flows. However, a small minority current flows through the device that is known as reverse saturation current. It is noteworthy here that after a certain reverse bias voltage, a large reverse saturation current will flow that permanently damages the diode. The characteristic curve of a diode will help you to have a better idea about the conduction of the diode. The figure here shows the characteristic curve of a diode in both forward and reversed biased condition. 
So, x axis represents the voltage applied to the device and y axis represents the current that flows through the device. As we can see that no current flows through the device until barrier potential is greater than the forward applied voltage. However, a rapid increase in current is noticed when barrier potential becomes less than the forward applied voltage. Now coming to the reverse characteristic of a diode as we can see that small reverse saturation current that is also known as leakage current flows for some range of reverse bias voltage. This current is basically due to the flow of minority carrier in the device. However, if this reverse bias voltage is increased further beyond a certain range then it will lead to destruction of the device completely. So, with this discussion, we can say that a diode exhibits non-linear characteristics. Well friends, this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope you find this lesson very useful. So guys, please like and share this video and put in your comments below. And do subscribe our channel for more updates. I will be back with a new lesson. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.